It has captured the imagination of astronomers and sci-fi fans alike and could turn out to be a real rogue world. And now researchers believe they may have narrowed down the search for the elusive Planet 9. Astronomers are investigating four unknown objects that could be candidates for a new planet in our solar system. A team of astronomers from the Australian National University is investigating the four unknown objects following the launch of their planetary search on BBC's Stargazing Live presented by Professor Brian. Brian Cox and Daryl Brian. They said they will reveal more details about the mysterious objects once they have investigated them. Dr. Brad Tucker, lead researcher, said about 60,000 people from around the world had classified over 4 million objects in space as part of the citizen search for Planet 9. Dr. Tucker said, We've detected minor planets Chiron and Comasina, which demonstrates the approach we're taking could find Planet 9 if it's there. The project to pinpoint the mysterious planet planet used the Sky MAPPER telescope, which Dr. Tucker said was crucial in ruling out areas in the southern sky where Planet 9 could be situated. He said, We've managed to rule out a planet about the size of Neptune being in about 90% of the southern sky out to a depth of about 350 times the distance the Earth is from the Sun. With the help of tens of thousands of dedicated volunteers sifting through hundreds of thousands of images taken by Sky MAPPER, we have achieved four years of scientific analysis in under three days. One of those volunteers, Toby Roberts, has made 12,000 classifications. The team will now confirm whether or not the unknown space objects are Planet 9, dwarf planets, or asteroids. Using telescopes around the world, Dr. Tucker said he encouraged people to continue their hunt for Planet 9 through the project website on Zooniverse.org. Professor Chris Linton from Zooniverse and the University of Oxford said while Planet 9 had not been found. It had been great fun sharing the search with all of the volunteers over the past three nights.